Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics and we're here to do a final review on this experiment. Now this experiment involves growing plants next to a mirrored window. So that mirror that we can see through actually has privacy film on it and if you stand on the other side of this window you'd be looking at a silver mirror. So I was wondering how it would affect plant growth. So I put these two plants, these are Diefenbachias, next to the window. This one was placed here in September 2014. This one was placed here in December 2014. And this is the growth that we got. So you can see the difference in ages. The one on the right is a little smaller than the one on the left. But they're actually growing very very well, which surprised me. And in particular, this is showing about the best leaf growth I've ever been able to get from the Diefenbachia in my home. Now my home is near to three transmitting antenna towers that transmit radio frequencies into the area. And they're about 2,000 to 2,300 feet away. And it's also filled with radio frequency transmitting utility meters. So these plants are grown in a very high radio frequency environment. Uh, anyone who grows the diaper back here will recognize that these are not fully grown. And that's because of the radio wave fields that they're being grown in. Radio wave fields deform and retard the diaper back here. So I've never actually managed to get the diaper back here to exhibit its full growth. And its full growth normally will fill the entire hand. And that's why the plants come into the home looking like they have leaves that completely fill the hand. So these are about half size, but they've got all the patterning and they're two different varieties. And these two varieties exhibit very comparable growth patterns in my home. So the answer to whether this window film is toxic or not, is I am not really detecting anything in the plant that is abnormal other than what I know to be occurring, which is radio frequency exposure. And I suspect that if these were placed next to this window without the radio frequency exposure that the community has, that they would actually exhibit their normal growth. And that gives me some confidence to actually say that this mirrored privacy window film is probably not that biologically toxic. I'm not saying it's completely safe, but the toxic effects of it, certainly to the Diefenbachia, appear to be very, very hard to detect. And that was the final conclusion of this experiment. If you want to find out more information on health, you'll find it in Health Forensics. And I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.